Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Dr. John Belkowitz, and we're going to do a tech review Tuesday. So we're doing uh, bulk electrical resistivity today, and I am totally making a mess over here. I better get this cleaned up. Whitney's going to be joining us, but let's do a setup. What is bulk electrical resistivity, and why the heck do we care? Bulk ele electrical resistivity is uh, a measurement that we take from a concrete sample. Um, where we're looking at an electrical signal that's going through our concrete and based on the concrete mix design or the materials that are being used we get a certain resistance to concrete flow and that's what we're measuring, the ohms. Um, and you know in doing so we can take the geometry of the sample to figure out this bulk electrical resistivity and the information is critical uh, especially if we want to look at durability of the mix uh, we can also look at cracking, hydration, time is set, and there's also some discussion about using this value of the concrete in its first state to identify, to identify change in water and change in slump. Um, so uh, a, a great uh, concept, uh, a great piece of technology. Here it is, this is the Archon device by Geotech. We actually started this test, or started this vlog, this tech review about four weeks ago, five weeks ago, Chile somewhere around there, and just as we were about to use the piece of equipment, it shut down on us. I actually was one of the first to buy an Archon device years ago when Geotech first opened. So we've been using this as one of the main pieces of equipment in our lab since we got it those so many moons ago, and from wear and tear it just went, by, you know, went uh, bad. But they were gracious enough to take care of the shipping, to get us a new piece of equipment and we're going to go ahead and measure that. So again, we went through what is bulk electrical resistivity, we defined it. Um, now the concept behind bulk electrical resistivity, how it can give you critical information about the aforementioned list is that the resistivity of the electrical system, uh, signal through concrete is based on the pores, the connection of the pores, what's in the pores as well as the concrete design and the materials and what we can connect that to is a lot of different tests or not even tests but hey, those properties that we need that are related to rapid chloride permeability chloride content migration and really the the overall durability of the concrete and there are a lot of tests out there that are already set up already have ASTMs yes. hi Whitney, we're talking about the Archon 2 yes. um, bulk electrical resistivity. We've already designed it mm -hmm. or defined it. Now the question is, why the heck do we want to use it? And I was just getting into, there are a lot of tests out there that already help you look for, let's say, permeability. Sure. RCPT, the ASTMC 1202, ASTMC 1585, 1585 one of my wicking. Favorites. But those are very, uh, as, as great as they are, they're drawn out tests. Sure. They take the 1585, sure. takes what, two weeks of preparation time? Yeah, well, yeah. And then it's a seven day test with a whole bunch of measurements during that? Yeah, I would say actually pro probably closer to three weeks conditioning. Right. And then, yeah, it's, it's very, and, and, the, and it's cumbersome too. Totally. Like it's prepping the sample, totally. it's a lot. So. And the ASTMC 1202, while it is a very good test, it's also very cumbersome. What I like about this test is that you take the sample out of the bath right before you put in the compression machine or a sample that you're looking at over a period of time and you test it before you pop it. It's not destructive too, like you're reusing the same sample, like it's just it's you can. great, totally. you can. Totally, you can totally, have separate totally. samples, but yeah, it's great to be able to just get that information and then you can reuse that cylinder to, to do anything else. So. So, including the fact that there is simplicity, right. you still get the information that you need. Now, the resolution. And there is a need in the industry for the bulk electrical resistivity test. We already have tests that are getting that, us that type of information. The only thing that I think is holding us back is the fact that we don't have an ASTM. That being sure. said, there's surface resistivity, which is a little bit different, right. but there are already a few Department of Transportation that are taking advantage of that. And the bulk electrical resistivity ASTM just went out for ballot like oh, last month. Oh, that's great. It was last month or that's beginning great. of this month. So 
it, we should start seeing more industry acceptance totally. with that with totally. that ASTM interface. and based on how Geotech has been getting this technology out there oh sure this is not a paid endorsement I mean they were very gracious to get us the equipment right. fast but they're not paying us to do this uh, we are going to put a link below to their technology because yeah. it is a pretty cool concept right. and we do think you should look at it we have written articles about it before because this was a major part of my PhD when I was looking at the impact of nanosilica size and surface area on the durability of concrete. So, so the uh, concept is really easy. Like I said, you're going to take out your sample from the bath. Okay, so we're going to put our sample down. Uh, yeah, so it has to be a wet sponge. It has to be a saturated sample. Okay, so that's it. We wait five seconds. We got a reading of 9.3 kilo ohms, and what I normally do is I normally go um, 10 uh, cycles or 10 hertz. Then we average those three, um, and then you know the ASTM will give us more protocol once it's published. Sure. Uh, but then we measure the diameter, measure the length, and we throw it in the calculator that we developed in Excel to give us the uh, information that bulk electrical resistivity. So thanks for joining us today. We had a great time on this Tech Tuesday on a Monday. Love that. I love that. We're actually having pie today too, so it's pie day for us. High All five. Right. What? Uh, don't forget to like, subscribe. If you've got any concrete questions, concrete concerns, we're the experts. This is John. This is Whitney. Go concrete. Beat asphalt.